This is my review of the Reynolds 100 watt bendable solar panel. It's a semi-flexible solar panel. As you can see, it is uh, quite flexible. You can bend it to about 30 degrees. It's made of a fairly thick plastic with the cells sandwiched in between. Uh, the quality seems to be very good, especially for the price. Uh, it's designed to be mounted on curved surfaces or on bimini's and dodgers, and it works quite well. I had the sail maker put uh, various pads around the corners or pressure points that would be on the bimini. Uh, you can see them here, the idea being that uh, the panel may slowly wear those pads, but they can be easily replaced, and there's little ties to hold it in place as well as uh, a travel area on the bimini for the this is underneath the bimini you can see the uh the pads and you can ever so slightly see the faint outline of where the solar panel is you can see the sewn in parts with the pads the back ones were were along the rail so you can't see them from under here but it uh causes no deformation or, or or weight that I can see on the uh, the bimini. If you look for it, you can you can sort of see the line that it's there, but it's nice and flexible. Ooh. Now this is my solar charge controller. It's a very overcast day right now. Um, no sun at all. It's complete cloud cover, and we're getting 2.7 amps, which compared to my old solar panels is pretty impressive. I used to run two. Uh, 30 watt solar panels and I'd be, be lucky to get this on a good day. Now they weren't ideally positioned like the bendable one. They were traditional solar panels so they weren't on the bimini. They'd get shadows from the rigging and that's probably what accounts for it. Um, but it seems to be putting in a really good charge. As you notice from the pictures before there's a lot of water on the panel so it seems to be uh, handling that quite well. This is the charge controller. This is my boat's battery monitor. You can see they're showing just about the same amount, 2.7, 2.6 amp charge. So it's putting in uh, a really good charge. I'm, I'm quite impressed. This is just the view from uh, in front of the Bimini and Dodgers. You can get a better idea of the real estate it takes up on a, on a 30 foot sailboat. You can see there's room for more. I'd, I'd like to put two more 100s in at some point to have uh, 300 watts. They uh, currently only make the one size that I've seen on their site, the 100 watt bendable. It would be nice if they made maybe some smaller sizes that uh, could fit on the sides because measuring the 100 out, it doesn't quite fit. Might be able to put one here, but it would be in the way of the boom. Uh, so it would get some shade, which would greatly reduce its efficiency. So other than maybe uh, a few other types. So in conclusion, it seems to be an excellent solar panel. I'm, I'm really glad I discovered them. And, uh, and picked up this panel. It's, uh, it's a much nicer and neater way to put solar on my boat for a, a fraction of the price than any of the other companies selling bendable solar panels or semi-flexible solar panels that I could find. Uh, all the reviews on Renergy's other products were, were really good, so they seem to be a company that produces a, a quality product. I couldn't find people saying anything negative about their traditional solar panels that they've been selling for a longer period of time. Uh, this style of panel, the ones I've seen so far, have, uh, have been quite good, so I would uh, definitely recommend it.